This is Alice Rogers, Membership and Awards Specialist at the American Volleyball Coaches Association. This recruiting tip is brought to you by the Carolina Region, an affiliate partner of the ABCA. Today we will outline the types and amount of financial aid available to female college volleyball players. There are over 1,700 college programs and almost 27,000 roster spots. NCAA Division I schools make the highest investment in women's volleyball. Most of the 334 teams have 12 full-ride scholarships. On the women's side, volleyball is a headcount sport, meaning no more than 12 players on a team can get scholarship aid. So if a school has 12 scholarships, each of those 12 athletes gets a full ride. A full ride covers tuition and fees, room and board, books, and course-related supplies. These scholarships are awarded based on athletic ability, not need or academic ability. Yes, a player must be admitted to the school, and some institutions have higher standards than others, but the volleyball coach is assessing whether the player can help the team win championships. The average squad size in NCAA Division I is 16 players, so the other four on the team are referred to as walk-ons. They participate in all training, travel, and team activities, but walk-ons cannot get any scholarship aid from the athletics department. Some D1 schools will also give scholarship players an additional stipend, a cash payment calculated to cover the full cost of attending the school. The amount of this stipend will vary from school to school depending on location, but it is designed to cover the same things. If you add up the women's scholarships available in NCAA Division I, the total is more than $100 million. This sounds like a huge amount of money, and it is, yet only 4,000 players will get these scholarships, and that includes all four classes, so only about 1,000 players per year get Division I scholarships. To put another layer of context on this, there are approximately 100,000 seniors playing on high school volleyball teams. Only 1,000, or 1% 1 of them, will get a D1 scholarship. NCAA Division II schools are able to offer the equivalent of eight full-ride scholarships. D2 coaches will often split a full scholarship among several volleyball players, although they are allowed to give a full grant to one player if they choose. D2 cannot offer aid beyond a full scholarship, so no full cost of attendance stipends are allowed in D2. The total athletically based aid in D2 is over $60 million. Almost 7,000 women are playing volleyball in NCAA Division III schools, and this is the largest single group of college volleyball players. In D3, financial aid must be based on academic qualifications and or financial need. There are no athletic scholarships offered in Division III. The NCAA reports that 75% of student athletes in D3 schools get some type of aid for academic or financial need. Translating this to volleyball adds another $50 million. Even though the aid is not based on athletic ability, the dollars given to smart, talented volleyball players are just as valuable in reducing the cost of their college degree. The 220 NAIA women's schools can give up to eight scholarships, and like NCAA Division II, these can be split between multiple players and can cover tuition and fees, room and board, books and course-related supplies. The NAIA gives more than $45 million to female volleyball players. Two-year colleges are a great place to play college volleyball. Not only are the costs lower, but there is over $70 million in aid available for talented, college-ready volleyball players. In the NJCAA, Divisions 1 and 2 give aid based on volleyball ability, with a maximum of 14 full-ride scholarships per institution. Division III gives aid solely based on academic qualifications and or financial need. The California Community Colleges are open to all, but favor students from their home districts by offering them the first year of college free. After year one, aid is based on financial need. The CCCAA does not offer any athletic scholarships. The 32 NWAC two-year colleges 
offer eight scholarships based on volleyball playing ability. These can also be split among multiple student athletes and cover mostly costs for tuition. Finally, as alluring as you may find Division I volleyball, remember that only 30% of the aid available to female volleyball players is in Division I. 70% or almost $240 million is found outside of NCAA Division I. Look broadly at many schools as you explore your options. And that's your recruiting tip of the week. Thanks for your membership in the Carolina region.